The Cedar House. This cedar house was built especially for people who come here. Visit the tiger and pick cedar cones by hand, really concentrating on the cone harvesting process. And then they use our wooden machinery to process these cones into cedar oil. This house is unique. It's built completely out of cedar, down to the smallest detail. It's open to everyone. Nothing but cedar was used in building this house. Everything, from floor to ceiling, all the shelves, everything. The house is divided into sections. The top floor is for relaxation. It contains four beds, a large dining table, and a cozy fireplace. The house has no electricity. We want to immerse people in the life of days gone by before electricity and help them feel more free. Instead of sitting in front of the computer, they can meditate by the fireplace and reflect upon their life. Food and bedding are provided by the ancestral estate. The pillows and blankets are filled with dry herbs that can only be harvested a few months per year. At the end of their stay, guests can take the bedding sets with them as souvenirs. The workshop is located on the lower floor. Here, guests can make their own cedar oil. Tourists spend three days in the house. On the first day, they can take a tour of the ancestral estate, meet its residents, and learn about their day-to-day -day life. On the second day, the guests head for the taiga. Here, you can breathe in lungfuls of fresh air and take in the beauty of Siberia. The taiga stretches all the way to the horizon. This was the first time I saw cedar trees in their natural form and realized what immense energy they carry and how much they give us. At that moment, I felt as if my lungs opened up, just like that. All the guests at the cedar house pick their own cedar cones. When people pick cedar cones, they're not thinking about money. They're not thinking about how much they can sell them for later. They pick the cones for themselves. Holding a cone in hand, they know that it will give them the oil that is so beneficial for their health. They also have an opportunity to plant a cedar sapling. We planted our own little cedars right here in the taiga. So a part of us will remain here with you. cones take an entire night to dry. In the meantime, the guests can relax after a busy day, take a steam bath in a traditional Russian sauna, or have a chat by the warm fireplace. The next day, they begin the long oil-making process. I jako je veliko zadovoljstvo učestvovati u tom procesu rada. Siguran sam da će biti posebno zato što čita proces od početka rada sa šišarkom prolazi kroz moje ruke i moj DNK i moja energija ulazi u to ulje i onda će to ulje biti svakako za mene posebno. The doors of the cedar house are open to everyone. This house is filled with a powerful energy where people can experience a wide range of feelings. It is a place where the mind and the soul can truly relax. This is something completely new. New and fascinating, extremely fascinating. I love spending time with our guests. It's so great, wonderful in fact. I think everyone is enchanted, completely enchanted. Everyone is so kind, it's just wonderful. I've never experienced such warm hospitality. It might be because my name, Zoya, is a Russian name, but being in Russia really felt as though I was coming home. I've been feeling happy all day long. I can't wipe the smile off my face. All I can do is smile and thank everyone for everything we experienced here and for the hospitality we were shown.
the house will continue to operate through the winter, though guests will not be able to collect cedar cones. We've asked the children staying with us to collect them ahead of time for our future guests. We know that the oil from the cones collected by these children will be very special and particularly healthy.